everyone. This is Jess from the Estevan Public Library, and for today's Ada Z World Foods, we are making an Armenian casserole. This dish is special as it is layered before you cook it. For this recipe, you will need some potatoes, zucchini or eggplant, tomatoes, either ground beef, ground turkey, or ground lamb, some allspice, salt and pepper, and some tomato paste and water. Let's get started. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in a bowl, add one and a half pounds of ground beef or meat, ground meat of your choice. Then add a pinch of salt, pepper, and allspice. You can also add a little bit of tomato paste to add a little extra flavor. Once all your spices have been added, mix it all together using a spoon or your hands. Next, form your ground beef into round discs about half an inch in size. You don't want them too thick. You should be able to make between 12 and 14 patties. When you're finished, set aside. Next, cut your vegetables into thin slices. You will need two potatoes, two zucchinis, and two to three tom tomatoes, depending on the size. If you have one, you can use a mandolin to speed up the process and to create even cuts. When you're finished, season your vegetables with salt and pepper. After your vegetables and your ground beef are prepared, it's time to start layering. For this casserole, we'll be layering and stacking our ingredients vertically. So here, I'm grabbing my vegetables, and then my beef patty, and layering them beside each other vertically. How you want to layer your ingredients is up to you. I found it was easier to have my vegetables on the outside edges of the dish. Keep stacking your ingredients until you run out or your dish is full. Next, grab a cup of water and add one can of tomato paste to it. Mix it together well. After it's mixed, pour it over top of your casserole. Try to coat it as evenly as possible. When you're finished, place your casserole in the oven for at least an hour and a half. And now your layered casserole is ready to serve. This is a great meal for larger families as it serves between six and eight people. It does take a bit longer to make as prep time is about 20 minutes and cook time is about an hour and a half. If you're interested in making this dish, you can find the written recipe in the video description below. I hope you can join us for our next A to Z World Foods video, but until then, enjoy!